Hello, I am Madhini Ariam. In this video, I am going to talk about don't let negativity kill your desires. I am a motivated and independent person by nature, but even now remember the negative people around me. When I started studying accountancy, the people who were around me thought that I would never pass the exams. Even after I started working, the people around me undervalued my capabilities. But now I think about it and forget and forgive because uh, but think about the old saying, an educated person admired by an educator. Not everybody can admire the education. The people who are educated will admire the education. Now I realize that it was partly because of their nature of undermining, undermining people. Some people think, if I can't do something, others also can't do that. That is the way they think. Often adverse reactions come from people with, who seem to be naturally born pessimists. Hold the pessimist, but not their criticism. One thing I am grateful today to the pessimist who made me work harder because I just wanted to overcome their thoughts about me. Worked harder, and even today I am trying to achieve my goals. So my advice is to use the pessimist reactions and remarks, but not to drag yourself down by them, never, ever. It's no wonder that you are going to encounter many people say no in your career path. The vital point here not to take any notice of it and believe in yourself, have faith and work towards your achievements. There are two types of people I have met in the business. One is always passing negative commas, comments, but they validate your work. Some others, they will pass the negative commas and they will not validate your work. They will continue to be negative towards you. Another guy will not believe in whatever you do, always show a negative attitude. Most people try to keep away from negativity, but I would say it is not to keep away, it's not good to keep away from negativity then you will forget to achieve things. Keep yourself facing the negativity and face it, take it as a challenge and improve in your progression. That is the best way to progress in your life. Successful entrepreneurs in the world. Do you think all these successful entrepreneurs in the world, they wouldn't have met this pessimist to, with the negative remarks? They would have, every would have everyone would have met all that but they had the courage and enthusiasm to overcome all that. They have done well and that is why they have been recognized by the world today and considered as the best entrepreneurs. I'm not surprised the lazy people out there to look at other people's, other person's victory and ready to pass negativity. The successful entrepreneurs, when they get remarks like that, they use this as a, they use the criticism to become more committed and work harder. As a result, they got the recognition. Another thing, if you are an entrepreneur, do not expect support from pessimists. They will never support you because they don't believe that you are good at that work and they think that they are wasting their time in helping you. But the critical fact is not to lose faith in you and keep trying, become more committed to your venture. The word no motivates you more. Supposing you get all the time positive remarks and good help around you, you will not you will take things easy, you start to think take things easily and they will not it will not take you very far. So never shut. So, for example, you are doing a project and somebody, a pessimist, walks in and say, 
this is not good enough, you should have changed the outlook of it. So you should not get angry or shout back or sulk away. That puts you to work harder. Remember, if everyone says good things about you, you will ever try to progress more. Will you ever try to progress more? Therefore, the word no has more value in life for perseverance and progression. You will be even tempted to create better ideas and prove yourself that you are good at the job. Do not forget to inv- when you have done the good job, when you think that you have fulfilled your desire, good job, don't forget to invite these pessimists and ask them to have a look at it. And at that point, they will have no choice. They have to admit that you have done a good job. So that is, then they have no other alternatives other than accepting your challenges. That is how you change your, change the pessimist remarks. That is how you can change the, their motive to talk bad about or talk ill about other people's work. My final words are, I understand how much effect that you would have had when, the, when you get the remarks from the pessimists. But remember, everything happens for the best. All those negativity has made you into a prominent entrepreneur and also have changed pessimists to believe in you. That's the important thing. You have changed the pessimists to believe in you. I cannot stress more, you need to have a correct mindset to face challenges to achieve your desires. That is how you have got to work in your, maybe in your exams or maybe in your job or in your business. Otherwise, you will never grow. You have to work harder, you have to face challenges and win over. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you. If you like it, please share it. Thank you. I'll see you in another one.